the Ottawa does with the river keepers, and that's what I like to, to brag about when it comes to Ottawa. So it's often asked, what is it we can do because climate change is so big? And I think, you know, it's already been stated. Look in your neighborhoods. Just talk to your neighbors about what's going on. And, you know, sometimes you can have the PowerPoint presentation, or you can say, what about how we deal with energy in our neighborhood? What about using solar? Or what about making sure that we have water retention, green roofs, locally sourced food? Let's get this together and work together in neighborhoods and then branch that out. And I know you've been doing that. I'm so glad to hear and see the fact that you're going door to door. And so spread that out. And those are the solutions, is working together in the neighborhoods and making sure that we seek solutions. Now, there are solutions to be faced uh, that are financial as well. And 2008, was already mentioned, is the crisis that happened. And I was so frustrated when we put our money into the usual. And it was an opportunity to transform our economy. And it still can be, but let's learn the lesson and the opportunity that was missed in 2008, where we put money into the same old, same old. So we just need to keep track of the green screen that has been talked about by Ecology Auto. And that means look at the money that's being spent, your tax dollars being spent, and put them through a green screen. Make sure and stand up to those who say, oh no, we can't do it that way, and ask them why. First of all, ask them, do they believe in climate change? Uh, and, and then ask them, okay, what are you doing about it? And I'm speaking, of course, of politicians. Um, I'm a recovering politician. Um, and if they say no, then you have to put the facts in front of them. And as the man said uh, years ago, you're entitled to your own opinions, but you're not entitled to disagree on the facts. And the facts are on our side. Um, so when you become ignored, and you get down, um, you know, remember those who came before, and for me the influencers were Rachel Carson and Jane Goodall, and there's so many more, and they stood up to those who said no or were ignored, and so remember them. And my last message to you is that remember this planet we're on is so precious. We should never take it for granted, and this is something that we're all in together, and it's global. And I'd like to see us get back into the partnership and twinning business again. But it'd be about fighting climate change. Have Ottawa, you know, connect and, and be part of a twinning with other cities who are doing a lot of, and connect directly with them. So thank you so much for honoring me. Thank you, Ecology Ottawa, for the work you've done. It, it really does change the dialogue when someone comes to your door and says, here's what you can do. Because we're really tired of those saying, what can't be done. You know, as, as my friend used to say, don't let them tell you it can't be done, because it can be done. So, tonight, celebrate. And that's really important to celebrate the wins as well. And tomorrow, keep on what you've been doing fantastically. And make sure that you hold the leaders to account and never stop doing that. Thank you so much, Mr. Dean.